Hi, my name's Jack, and I just wanted to show you a really simple eye look uh, that has been getting me through uh, the summer holidays so far. And um, with the summer holidays, you want something which is really simple. So I've already got a uh, my foundation on over the top of my primers and moisturizers that I've done, and I'm going to be using my favorite Adorn Mineral Cosmetics to show this look. I have a blue-green eye combination, so sometimes my eyes look blue and sometimes they look green, depending on what shades I'm wearing. But this shade I'm showing you today um, is really lovely because it's a great summer colour. So first of all, what I do is I get my Adorn spoolie and I usually just give my eyebrows a little bit of a brush up because as I've gotten older, my eyebrows are somewhat thinning you could say, and that just helps to fluff up the, the hair on my eyebrows. Um, and next I will go in with my brow dust, which I have been using now for about 13 years. And I must say that it's just my go-to easy eyebrow application. So coming from the inside out, I will start here and just sort of fluff up the hair as I move across, just to sort of give it a little bit more body. As I said, I'm losing losing volume in my eyebrows these days, but just being able to give it a little bit of a fluff up with some color helps to fill it out. And I prefer the brow dust over personally um, an eyebrow pencil because I find the eyebrow pencils can sometimes look a little bit harsh um, on me and I usually prefer a softer sort of a makeup look. So I'm just filling all that in there, giving it a bit of a giving that a bit more definition to the top of my eyes already, I look a hundred times better. Um, the next thing I usually do is really simple color that I love, which I've been using across um, oh, for many years now, is the amber, which is a really gold, glistening, um, orangey sparkle, I suppose, that I love to add to my lids. Um, and I just use this in a really too easy sort of two-step process. So I grab a dome brush, as you can see, I've got some there on the end there. And just starting from the bone here on my eyebrow, I sort of plot the color there and then sort of start to work it, work it in and up. And I just find this color is such a great summer color to have because you can sort of put it on really lightly during the day if you're sort of heading out. And then at night time, if you've got it handy, you can just really up the color and thicken it up to really give it a lot of bright sort of nighttime sparkle but it's been one of my favorite staple colors in my dawn cosmetics collection for a number of years so just building up that color as you can see like i said i've already done my base and primers and everything underneath so it just needs need to add a bit of color simple it's beautiful i love it it's just always been a great color for me and that's one great thing when you have been using a certain cosmetics line for so long you do know what your go-to colors are and again i get surprised by something that i'll try that's new but um in the main i just love having my go-to colors and then similarly what i'll do for the top of my um uh, eyelids, just the top of my top of my lids in here to fill in. I'll just go over that with just a basic illuminizer. So from the Adorn collection here, this one of course I use that in the powder form. You can also obviously have all the um, liquid illuminizers, but I find for my eye makeup that the loose illuminizer works really really well, and I can control the depth of the color using a brush for me. So once again, I just sort of bring that up across the lid like that and then I'm able to blend the color. And it just sort of gives it that beautiful new shimmer, again, that we're after at this time of year. Sort of bring all that together. Sort of really opens up the eye, I find. I'm lucky that I do have a bit of space between my eyelids and, the, and my eyebrows, but still I have found and have seen how People with slightly smaller spaces can use the illuminizer and it really does make everything open up really well. Okay, so that is the illuminizer on top. 
Um, sometimes I'm gonna add, if I was going out, I might add a third color in, but like I said, I'm just heading out for a really light bite to eat with my girls tonight, so I'm just doing a really quick application. Um, the next thing I will do is then I'll go in with some eyeliner, and I've got my Adorn Chubby, which lasts me forever, um, and um, is a great, great one that I use, and I use it particularly under the lid, so I just tickle the underside of my the top lid with my Chubby, because I find that, I, again, I like more of a gentle sort of look. So rather than going too harshly across the tops of my lids, I prefer it to sort of come from come from within. So that was a little trick that I learned very early on and I had to apply an Adorn Chubby. And then I will, with the thinner Adorn eyeliner in black, again, I'll just come in from the sides just to give it that slight sort of smoky look on the side again, rather than me doing a sharp line across my lids, I just prefer a gentle smokiness from the edge. So, I will just come in like that from the edge and a little bit underneath, which I'll use my brush in a sec to fluff this out. And again on the other side, that across and in probably about a third a quarter to a third of the way across my lid and then underneath just a smidgey from the edge smidgey it's a technical term if you're applying makeup i don't know if it is anyway it's one of the words one of, one of the terms i use to explain what i'm doing <laughs> so with my with my one of my other dome brushes i'll just bring all that together sometimes i'll just sort of push it into the crease of the um eyelid just to give it a little bit more of that sort of smoky look and then underneath just to soften out the line and then again on the other side just a smidge and then underneath so really simple really quick and easy um, and to finish everything off, I will then um, use my Adorn Waterproof Mascara, which again is great this time of year. It can be really humid as it is today. And so sometimes I find that that's um, really terrific at being able to hold the color rather than having it you know, dribble down my cheeks by the end of the evening. So, and I love the, the shape of this brush is really great because you can kind of get quite a different, few different effects out of using it on your eyelashes, depending on what time of day it is. So again, I've already curled my eyelashes so I don't need to go in with any more of that, but I then just fluff them all on the edge. Fluff and smidge. Oh, there we go. And this is also handy. I love the waterproof because if you do end up at someone's house and you do jump in the pool, you don't have to worry about your mascara running down your face. So that's the other reason why I do love a waterproof mascara, particularly during summer. So I'm concentrating more on my top lids and then just a little bit on the bottom on both sides. There we go. So there you have it. My really simple eye look for particular people with blue green eyes using the amber um, eyeshadow and illuminizer along with my brow dust, um, my chubby eyeliner and um, my thin eyeliner pencil and my waterproof mascara. So that's me done. I'm off now to enjoy my evening. I hope you're all having a great summer. Thanks, bye.